okay in our last video we have just created a machine template with the name of our computer now we got that machine template connected to our local computer using the ui part assistance so we did that with the client id and the client secrets which were credentials or secrets that have been generated within the machine templates we got that connected and now we have the status message connected and licensed the next thing we want to do right now is to create a robot account because our robot needs to be a user on our orchestrator so head over to the menu icon here and you want to go to admin now you want to go to accounts and local groups just in case you can see accounts and local groups please ensure you are on the organization level because you might be in default tenants you don't want to be in default tenants so you want to be within the organization level and you want to go to accounts and local groups now you want to go to robot accounts and you want to add a robot account you can see for now we do not have a robot account i'm going to click add a robot account and i'm going to provide the name of my robot you can give your robot any name of your choice i'm going to call my mol bot and now you can leave the group membership for now and you can click add and then we can close out of this and you see we have a robot account now we have created a robot account let's go back to the orchestrator in our orchestrator now we're going to give the robot account access to the LAN folder because we have agreed that we are going to be deploying our processes to the LAN folder to do that you want to go to tenant and you want to go to folders and now you can see the LAN folder now within the LAN folder inside of accounts and groups we do not see the robot account so we need to assign the robot account right here but before we do that let's assign a machine to the LAN folder okay I have just clicked the machines tab and I'm going to go to manage machines in folder. Now I'm going to tick my machine template and I'm going to click update. Now let's assign our robot account. I'm going to click accounts and groups and I'm going to go to assign account and group. And over here, I'm going to search for MOL bot, which is the name of my bot account. I select it from the drop down now. And for the roles, I would want to give the role or I would want to set the role as administrator so the robot has all the administrative rights it needs. Now I'm going to hit assign and that should get MOL bot assigned. Now let's give MOL bot credentials to our computer. We're going to click more actions. You're going to go to edit access rules and you're going to come over to unattended robot setup. This field here. You're going to select unattended robots using custom windows credentials now for your domain username to grab your domain username you're going to click start which is your windows icon on your tax bar and you're going to go to command prompt cmd so just type in cmd and you should see it, command prompt you open up command prompt and within command prompt you're going to type who am i you hit enter and this is your domain username so you're going to grab this control C. Now you can pin this down and you can place the value in the field for domain username. Now, if you come down here over here in the password field, your password is going to be the password to your computer. That is the password you use to log into your Windows user account on your computer. Now, before you provide a password, I want you to click on the Windows icon and head over to account because I need to show you this. Go to your account info. Now your Windows account could have been set up in two ways. One, using a Microsoft account. As you see in the image above, my Microsoft email address appears in the account and info settings, meaning I have mine set up this way. Two, a local account. Here, no email address is connected and it should appear this way. What Ever the case might be you will need to have a password I say this because many of us use a pin to log into our computers instead of a password for a Microsoft account your password is the same as the password to the Outlook or Microsoft email address connected to your computer 
for a local account you will need to have a password if you don't have one so you will need to set up a password if you don't have one so in my case it's a microsoft account so i will provide the password to my outlook email now come over to advanced robot options and you should see resolution we want to set the bot resolution we're going to put it on custom for the resolution width and the resolution height on custom again you hit the windows icon and you type resolution you click on change resolution and display and over here you would see your screen resolution mine is set at 1920 by 1080 so 1920 is going to be the width and 1080 is going to be the height back here i'm going to put width as 1920 and the height as 1080 i hit update and we are good